What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, we'll be talking about KJ Costello, um, quarterback out of Mississippi State. Uh, he was at Stanford before this. Um, I made, I think, two videos on him uh, already. Uh, I made one before last season, kind of an early look type of thing, uh, quarterbacks to kind of watch for that year. That type of thing. And then I also thought he was going to come out last year. So I made a whole uh, film session on him. I'll put that in the description. It got copyright claimed, but it's still there. Uh, so if you want to watch some film on him, go ahead. It's 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 there. Um. So, yeah. My opinions really haven't changed a whole lot on him. Uh, all my things I kind of said about him before kind of still stand. He really hasn't improved on much of it. Uh. He's not a terrible quarterback. Like, his arm strength is pretty solid. By the way, I have my notes next to me, so if I look over, that's why. Uh, just in case you haven't seen these before. He, he's got the size. He's 6'5", about 225 pounds, 230, something like that. Um, so, he's got the size. Um, and like I said, his arm strength's pretty solid. He can move a little bit. I mean, he's not, like, super athletic, but he can buy you some time. He's not a statue back there. Um... Mechanics are actually okay. Uh, footwork, okay. Not great. Could improve both of those things. Um, he doesn't seem to throw the ball with touch very much. He kind of throws a lot of bullets. Really kind of uses that arm a little bit too much. Sometimes, But sometimes you really do need to throw it with touch uh, and kind of arc it over a defender to make the, make the throw. Uh, I'd, I'd like to see him work on that. When he is scrambling, he does have a pretty good ability to slide and make sure he's not taking those hits too much, which is good to see. Um, accuracy, pretty inconsistent. Um, he's shown flashes of making some accurate, decently good NFL throws, but for the most part, it's it's pretty ina it's pretty inconsistent. Yeah. So th that's kind of is what it is. But the real problem is the decision making good god does he put the ball in danger a lot uh he doesn't read the field very well i think he has some vision problems i'm not saying his eyes are bad which the, if that might be the case too but he just doesn't seem to be processing the field too well um that might be something a quarterback coach in the nfl can help him with i hope so but it's it's something that he really really struggles with and he's turning the ball over quite a bit uh, I am recording this. I don't know when this video is going to come out, but I'm recording this as, as of October 24th, uh, 2020. And they're talking about benching him right now after transferring because he has 11 interceptions on the year. So, yeah, man, like, he's got to turn that around if, if, if he wants to be a real viable option. It's just It just is what it is. Um, but, and it's not just, the, it's not even just the picks that actually get picked off. Like, there's a lot of passes that should be picked off, but don't. Um, and overall, like, he, he, he kind of has a tendency to lead his receivers into taking hits. Like, his decision making just overall needs to improve. Like I said, hopefully a quarterback coach in the NFL can really help him, uh, develop some of those skills, work on his accuracy a little bit. I definitely don't think he's ready right now. Uh, not to start or anything like that. I think maybe he can develop into being a decent backup. Maybe down the line be a low-level starter or something like that. But right now, he ain't it, man. I know people might be mad. People that are fans of him or whatever, he can be mad at me if you want. I really don't give a shit. I got to be honest, man. I got to be honest with what I'm seeing. Uh, I'm consistent with it. I've made three videos, and I'm still saying the same things about him. So... Yeah, if I remember, I'll try to put the link to both of those videos in the description of this one. Like I said, I did a full-on film session of him last year. So if you want to check that out, uh, go ahead. So, yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Sorry, um, one thing I forgot to add about KJ Costello... Um, I forgot to add it in the video. It just slipped my fucking mind because I'm, I'm dumb. Um, he does have a history of injury as well. He had some injuries in 2019 and I just wanted to address that. Uh, 
keep that in mind when you're making your decision on KJ Costello. I don't think it should be too big of an issue, but I just wanted to point that out. Um, so, yeah. Bye, guys.